Jeez! The baddest in the game, don't tell your friends! Who are you kicking the shit out of at the weekend? Um, some lanky streak of piss called Slim. <laughs> nice. Don't know if you know him. No. <laughs> Is it a big water gun? Isn't it? Super soaker. I've got a big dildo to show him his ass this time. That's how he loves it. He loves it, mate. He loves it. 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 I love you, bro. Nice to see you. Oh, no! 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 Oh, Wait, yes. He's ready now. Yeah. He's ready now. Yes. Ready now, son. <laughs> oh, fish, you gotta be quicker than that, sir. Hey, look at Shea for me there. I'm absolutely sick. Do you know when you're in shape, you don't feel like you look in shape, do you? Like when you're actually in shape, like there, I didn't feel like I looked as I look. Oh, so when you look Do you know when you're in shape, you don't feel like you feel like I could be better? But then when you look back on yourself, when like now I'm obviously out of shape, but when you look back you think, fucking hell, I was actually in sick shape then. I'm in fucking seedy mode now, bro. Sorry, baby, but it's true. That's why I bought the tiniest little leggings you've ever seen. <laughs> 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 Trying to fit all this man meat in them leggings there, you know what I'm saying? How are you feeling, Tom? Very good, bro. I feel fantastic. We'll just focus now. That's what I need to learn how to just, when it's all going mad and I'll learn how to switch off and focus now. Yes. So when we go walking into the ring and there's fucking 20,000 people there, okay. so I need to learn to calm down. Yeah. You know, start throwing punches and going like wild. Yes. Composed. No more fucking wrong. Well, that's right, but even now it's composed. If I look there, this is when I started to feel fucked, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I could see him when he was like that. He was like, his eyes were wide open. He was like, fuck you know what have I got myself into here? I just seen his eyes like that towards the end when everyone else, you could see everyone else went a bit quiet. When I started like doing my upper workout, whenever people were doing it, they weren't really much focus on them. But when I got in, it was like the fucking old place went quiet and everyone were watching because they just heard it and they saw, they were like, what the fuck? And then all his team, that was it. They, you could see they were fucking shook. <laughs> You seen Tom Zanetti work out? What did you think of that? You know, I'm, I'm happy he he showed what he could do. Cause everybody tell me, yo, Slim, why you fighting like a, a random yada yada? But I know he has a Muay Thai background. I know he can fight. I know he can punch. And an opponent like this helps you like test yourself as a fighter, man. So I'm ready to get tested Saturday night. Now you are seeing him in person. You're face to face. You're very similar height, similar. But what do you I think? Can you? Be up here. Oh, no. I've been sparring people up here. Oh, I thought, I mean, you know, so I'm very happy, bro. Very yeah, happy. Yeah. This is gonna be a Come bloody on. fight. Yeah, this yeah, is gonna be bloody, bro. Definitely. Again, I said I'm not trying to disrespect him. I'm not trying to be an asshole, bro. You, I'm, I'm very happy and very grateful to be in this ring with you. I've watched these fights. I thought, yo, that guy's. I like his style. I like him. I feel privileged. I'm starstruck to be. Yeah. But bro, as soon as we get in the ring, it's game time. Definitely. I'm giving him a chance at me. I just want to better myself as a fighter. Thank you for this chance, like bro. Appreciate that, bro. Time, bro. Mate, I really wish you'd take that rematch, man. That would have been like the 
Fucking brilliant. Especially with nine weeks training now, with a bid and just fucking fully tuning up. The rematch would have been just something. He won't take it. He just don't want to do it. He's had five fights at that weight that I was at, or six fights, and he knocked everybody out. His five fights before me, all at that weight. I had to fight him because I gave him a tough fight. It was basically a draw. Uh, he, wa he wants to go down weight. He's vacated his belt. So he wants to go down weight. And I said, okay, I'll come down. I said, I'll go down weight. I'll come down. I'll be better at the lighter weight. And he still said, no, he won't do it. That would be a big fight that if we had that rematch. Yeah, you know these interviews you were doing? Yeah. Obviously, you were, you were, you were respectful throughout it all, yeah? Yeah, that yeah. Was, that was the main thing. But I noticed, obviously, being around you, a few little things you Just do. trying to antagonise a little bit. Shut it. I was trying to be a bit more dominant. You know what I mean? He's trying to like, because he was, don't forget on my first fight, and I was quite nervous, you know what I mean? Obviously this guy, he's had five fights, knocked five people out. I've never had a fight. You know what I mean? Well, I've had fights, but I've never had a boxing fight. So I thought, fucking hell. So I'm just trying to, uh, what do you call it? I, I'm trying to assert, assert my dominance and try to be a bit, you know, like that. So he's like, oh, because that's how you get into the head a bit. Do you know what I mean? So that's all I was trying to do without being too disrespectful. Because at the same time, he, he was a, he, you know, he's a good kid. So we are on the way to Box Park Arena for the press conference. 3,000 people strong. And we are going to light this fucker up, believe me now. How can we lose when we had a who's who's here? Ah! <laughs> That's the gas we need, bro. That is the biggest tune, you know, bro. Come on, man. How are you? Yes, bro. Right. Good. Hello, follow me. Right, yeah. All right, boss. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the big right. dog. Okay. <laughs> bro, it's next level, brother. Yeah, yeah, man. Bro, you looked super yeah, yesterday. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man, went super sane yeah, bro, in the ring, bro. Training hard. Man. Next level, bro. I see you, man. You got hammer in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking. Ready, you look, you're very ready, but you're going to be the top of the game, bro. Bro, he's getting it different. Tom B. Slim, what's your thoughts? What are you thinking? Um, I think the fight is going to be um, a tougher one. 50 50. Uh, made the best man win. Let's get it. Put on the show. Can we expect fireworks today? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> firework time. We'll see. See how he goes on in it. If he starts getting cheeky, it's firework time. Yeah. If not, I'll be a gentleman. But he knows he knows I'm a caged animal, bro. <laughs> he knows I'm a caged animal. And I'm ready to go, baby. Yes. And I, obviously I've not been able to train all week so I've been just fucking fuming and frustrated. But now I'm feeling better. Bro, if I'm 100% by Saturday, you watch. I am, then I can do all the rounds for no problem. I know I'm fit. Get rid of this shit. I've got them antibiotics today, so I'm going to take them anyway. This is me running on adrenaline, bro. Adrenaline can proper, that's what got me through the fight. Luckily, I was absolutely fit. I was so fit. Like, fight, coming up to fight week, I was the fittest I've ever been. The way I was training with the teeth and the, the sprints, I was, he said I was sprinting at a professional level. So like, you see me, didn't you? So I was fit. Luckily, I if I hadn't have done that, and being poorly, I would have been fucked then. That's all that got me through it. I have to be honest with you, a lot of people think there's going to be an upset. I like that though, bro. I like that. I don't want people to keep thinking, oh, Sim's going to win, he's going to run through him. I want people to think that, bro. That fires me up. Now, now everybody thinks that, you know, they see what he can do, they see he has skill. Saturday night is going to be extra special. That's all I'm going to say. Tom, yeah, you're bro, looking sharp. You said that I've got skill now. And what was it, two weeks ago, your coach was saying that I've got no skill. He could tell, but I, I, never said, I, never I said want that around no in the ring that I've I got no skill. Got no skill. That's what he was saying, you coach, bro. I was gonna get stuck straight into him and just take his chin clean off, bro. No, please don't. Please. You're going to sleep, no, bro. bro. Don't do it, please. It's hard watching it when obviously, you know, I didn't get the win, yeah. I, and and even more frustrating, like because I wanted the rematch. Now I would never ask for a rematch if it didn't warrant one. Like if I'd have got knocked out or I lost every round, ridiculous, I'd be like, all right, fine, I'd just take it and move on. But it was so close. It was basically everyone on the internet said it were a fucking draw. Watching this now, I'm just thinking, that, why won't you just have the rematch? He knows, and I know, and everybody knows that, that that rematch would have been a massive sell. It would have been brilliant, and I guarantee, because of the first one, nobody knew who I was from the YouTube scene. 
and, and, and I come out of nowhere and done better than any other fighters like that he's had. I felt he got a few more punches than me, don't get me wrong, I, I, and I'll give him it, but, you know, it, it wasn't, it, any fight deserves a rematch, it's that. I don't know, you know, that's going to be interesting. Oh, that was fun. So, hey, Tom, look, Tom's slick, I like that leather jacket. Oh, yeah. Tom's slick. No, he looking good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get in the way. Get in the way. Hey, is that me? <laughs> is it I was going to keep down to the eye while the sun was talking. <laughs> really good. Like I should. Oh, 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 oh. What? Woo! Come on. Welcome to the stage from Leeds, the wolf of West Yorkshire himself, Tom Zanetti, 175 pounds even. And his opponent, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, USA, Slam Albert. You look scared, you bro. You, think you look so? very scared, bro. Oh, you, you gotta be scared. You look shook, you tomorrow bro. Tomorrow backstage, just know. You look shook, bro. You're up against bro. a killer. Just know that. We backstage oh, tomorrow shit night. Shut up talking shit. Knockout bro. artist. All you do is talk You're up against a knockout artist. Remember that. You're up against a knockout you talk artist. Cheesy Remember that. Shit, bro. We backstage Dancing tomorrow. Dancing all over the stage. We backstage we'll see you tomorrow. Bring bro, that energy, you talk bro. shit, bro. We'll see who the big dog is bro, tomorrow. Bro, look me in the eyes, man. You look scared, bro. Look me in the eyes, bro. You look shook, bro. I'm so shook. You're shook, bro. I can feel it. I can feel it. Help me, please. Someone. Us two being so mean and nasty to each other, but really we were dancing in after party together. Quality, I love it. That's what it's about though, isn't it? The boxing. Yeah. It could be a bit naughty and a bit, because uh, when it's, bro, there's testosterone there, bro. There's two alpha males wanting to fight, but then afterwards you shake hands, you have a cuddle and it's quality. We were dancing together after party, like, boxing. even looking now, I feel bad that I'm like, oh, I'm trying to, I want to hurt the cunt, but I want to hurt him, but, you know, he's a nice, I like him, man. <laughs> Have you got anything to say to the fans that are out here right now, all the people Listen, that Listen, I'm just very, very uh, grateful to be on this show. Uh, this is the first time I've done something like this and it's been an amazing experience. You lot on the balconies, everyone watching, big you all up. And um, you know, Slim is a star of this game, so I didn't expect to have any fans. You lot are here to see him. But after tomorrow night, you're going to be my fans, trust me, because it's game time. When I watched that KSI yeah, fight, I seen Slim Spark Fade in that one. And I'd never been to like a YouTuber. I don't really follow yeah. YouTubers yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Yeah. And I seen yeah. a million yeah. kids, oh, whatever, no. in that arena, yeah. they yeah. wouldn't ever watch a boxing match. Yeah, but now they'll all go watch boxing yeah. matches. Get eyes and it's bringing money to boxing. You can. I, I, love, I love this. I love what's going on with boxing right now. It's good. It'd be interesting to see how you fight when you're fit. Super no comparison to fucking. I seen it on one of Slim's. Uh, press conferences he said look I grew up fighting and this and that mm -hmm. but he, like he, he said as well it's not it's different comp uh, a fight in the street lasts oh, fucking 40 seconds gets split up or someone yeah. gets knocked out yeah. a boxing match is about pacing yourself mm -hmm. you can't obviously it's fight week and I've not done the fight week thing before right. so I, I'm I'm thinking you know what do I do do I kick off do I 
you know, I don't, I've got no against him or you yeah, guys at all. Yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. like you want with me, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That getting the hands wrapped was, that's when I knew I was going into our fight and I had to really, really push. I had Deacon uh, watching me getting my hands wrapped. I could see in his eyes, he looked a bit concerned. Not concerned, but he's my son. You know, and they were, they were watching me about to go in. He was with me while I was getting my hands wrapped. And I was just looking in his eyes and thinking, listen, I, I felt like saying to him, don't you worry, mate. I'm not going to get knocked out. Do not worry. And uh, just looking in his eyes. And then his coach was sat there. And like all the way through that, getting my hands wrapped, I was coughing and spluttering. Like I said, I, I peeled myself out of bed because I was ill. And his coach knew. And he would say, every time I coughed, he, he kind of looked at me and I was like, <clears throat> I tried to like shug it off, you know, so he wouldn't go back and say, oh, Tom's fucked. That whole part, getting the hands up there, that, that's when you start feeling, right, okay, it's time. It's time to go now, we're off to war. As long as both guys are healthy, that's, that's all that's yeah. going on. You know, and they come out safe and that's it. That's all I hope for, you know? That's it, bro. It's all good yeah, fun, man. I feel so relaxed and like not nervous. I just the only yeah. thing that's bothering me that comes into my head at all is the the, the, the flu thing. But I can't even feel it now. Yeah. I just don't want to be getting firing out and the chest getting tired. But I'm not gonna let it happen. <laughs> In the changing room, when you st you've got your hand wraps on, uh, you've got all your team in there, and you're getting ready to go out, that's like one of the most exciting things I've ever done. I've been on stages with thousands and thousands of people. I've done, been lucky enough to do loads of amazing things, but that was very exciting. I had my son, yeah, Deacon was the DJ. He, 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 bless him, he'd already made a playlist of all the tunes that get us gas that we listen to in the car on the way to school. He made a playlist and he was playing one after the other. Every time he put a song on, I was like getting gas. I was looking at him and he was going, I was like, yes, come on. It makes me feel like, even now, it makes me feel like filling up, mate. It was like, that was, an unbelievable, special. I say a prayer every night before I go to sleep, yeah? One that I've memorized in my head that I say every night. I say it before I go to sleep. And we all got in a circle, but I forgot the words. I say this prayer every night. I've said it for years and years. And um, I said, right, everybody, get in a circle. I want to say a prayer. So I've got everyone. And I'm like, I didn't know, I was trying to think of it. I don't know if you remember. I kept forgetting the words of the prayer. So I just made a little one up there as we spoke, but that's how excited I was. <laughs> This club felt quite lonely, you know. You can do it felt quite lonely. You can do all the training you want with your coach. You can do all the stuff with your friends in your changing room and your family and your team and all that. But once you walk out, like you said, it's only me in the ring and and your opponent and me and Slim at the time. So when I walked out to do the walkout for the first time, it was lonely like Fuck, where's where's my people? And then I got in the ring and then that was the maddest thing when I got in and then I actually saw Slim and I thought. Shit, that's it, we're having a fight now. Just me and you. No more bravado, no more not, we're having a fight. And that that is again what an amazing feeling. Zanetti oh could be too ramped up.
knock him out. Steady to the fucking middle. Dead door curly is up in there. It's fucking hard, it's gonna be hard. Two more rounds. Making decisions right now. Oh, it's a left hand! Slim eight down as well. Dead eat it. What a fight, man. The champ's in trouble. Can Tom capitalize? But you know what? Tom may have won this round. And if he did, it all comes down to the floor. Expected a good one, and they deliver. Heart, a little bit of balls, pause. It was everything. Good. It was everything you wanted from, and more from a co-main event, from a championship fight. Both guys left it out. Beautiful there. fight. Judge Ken Curry scores the bout 40 to 37. Jack Goodwin scores the bout 39 to 37. Judge Gareth Morris scores the bout 39 to 38, and your winner by unanimous decision, and still the Misfits Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Slim the Heatman you were tired of the yourself, weren't you? Yeah. You didn't, a draw would have been fair. Yeah, that was a yeah. shame. It was a draw. It was a draw. It was loud. It was loud. You couldn't hear it. Good experience, though. Fucking scrap, can't you? Yeah, you can scrap there. Tom's and Nettie robbed. What am I watching? What a funny scrap! Fight of the night! Wow. Talk about fighting the night. Heart. All heart. All heart. Man. We expected a good one, and they delivered. I'm not asking, we didn't get the win, I'm just glad we went all the way and it was like, are you unanimous? Yeah, I'm so yeah, by yeah. a point or two, yeah. and, and to be fair, he deserved it, yeah. but at the same time, it was a good fight. <laughs> so like, I feel like I've firmly cemented my way in this game now. Yeah. 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 I, I was saying to myself, if Frank didn't even punch hard, uh, one of these guys really hit him. But I hit him a lot, oh, yeah, and, he, and he got through, so I really I respect oh, him. And he's a really nice kid as well. Yeah, but a bit yeah, of yeah. silliness, weak fight, fight week, but it wasn't all too deep. Nah. Yeah. Fight at night? Yeah. I've seen his face. Well deserved, baby. We've yeah. got from a different club out here. Yeah. First fight. It was the, the best loss I could have ever taken, I think. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't really, I, I didn't lose in my, I did technically by the one or two punches or whatever, but it was a brilliant. But it was very close, it was like, it, it was basically a draw. Everyone, there was an uproar online. What the fuck, that should have been a draw, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. And fair enough, uh, he got the win and I totally respect that and, it, and, and it's good. But it wasn't a loss for me because I had such a great fight. And then as I'm walking to the ring, with my walk up, I seen Deacon there, I seen my son there. I thought, this is going to be hard, but there's no way I'm getting knocked out in front of Deacon. Yeah. Now I've, I've felt what it's like to step in a ring without not having a spa, I'm here to knock you out and you're here to knock me out. You know, I've felt it now. So now all I've got to do is tweak a few bits and get to a level where I'm going to knock, knock my next opponent, spark out. That's it, I'm ready to go. Yo, I am officially a YouTuber. I've been hanging around with the kings of the YouTube scene for the last six months. I've even been fighting and punching chins off the best in the business. I am now a YouTuber, so like and subscribe baby because there's a lot more to come from this fella here. Lots of love, see you later, bye.